And do you like cherries? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, but not the ones with pits, the like bright red ones you get at bars, you know? And what's her favorite salt these days? Himalayan pink, fleur de sel? A uh, table? Great. And how many pets have you had in your life? Not including birds, obviously. Uh, I, I just want some ice cream. Sorry, sorry, I got a, a nosh car pickup for uh, Sarah. Oh, there you go. Oh. Quick sample before you go. Uh, no, sorry, thank you, uh, no time, bye. Now, where are we on sumac? Uh, Hickory reminded you of that moment in New Hampshire. Yeah, I mean, I never thought my mom would actually remarry, but there he was, proposing. I, uh, sorry, uh, Nashkar for um, Hunter? N Davis, sorry, it's for Davis, that's my bad. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, left-hand dominant, cool. And then everyone in the Benihana's was just standing up plotting. And it was at that moment that I realized that my childhood was over. That was beautiful. Did I pick up on cilantro in there? No, that was soap. Genius. And of course, the vanilla bean was grown in a room full of pictures of strawberries. That explains everything. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to my stepdad. He deserves forgiveness. <laughs> okay, what is this place? Just an ice cream shop, man. Let us whip something special up for you on the house. Do you usually go for something chocolatey, fruity, medicinal? Chocolatey? Are you drawn to fireworks or laser shows? Fireworks, I guess. And how does this taste? There's nothing on the spoon. Right, how does it taste? Yep, as expected. So, I gotta get going. The, the orders were for Marcus and Patricia. Totally, order's coming up. How long have you been paying off those credit cards? Sorry? Notice four in that wallet slot on the back of your phone. They look to have wear and tear in descending order. And holding down three jobs simultaneously? How do you? The black non-slip shoes from your bar back job, the paper cuts on your fingers from your weekend movie ticket tearing. It's felt frustrating scrambling for cash to gain freedom. I'm never being free to take a break. All this work for other people, but when was the last time you took a moment? For yourself. Right. It's, uh, it's been a while, it's been a while. Yeah, it's the it's the credit card thing. It's just like, it feels so hard to get out from under it. I feel like I'm chipping away a little, but with the stress of all these jobs, I feel like I'm bad at at least one of them at all times. My mom had this talk with me at Thanksgiving that scared me into realizing like, I really need to take care of this now. The worst part is I feel like I could get a handle on all of this and be out of the woods on everything in like three months if I had just, just one second to slow down and, and catch up on everything. But I, I don't date, I don't have time or money. I have all these business ideas, but I can't get anything started because I can't afford to get anything off the ground. I feel like I'm drowning. I feel like I can't catch up on anything. I'm like, here. Sunday. You don't need a Sunday. You need a Friday night. No, wait. He's awesome, man. How long have I been here? 17 years. Oh, cool. I think I'm ready to go back. Sorry. Oh my God. What year is it? What was that? That was a malted baking chocolate base with a mezcal cream and pop rocks. Wow. <laughs> hey, I had no idea how bad I needed that break. Sometimes when you're drowning, you just need that little gasp of air at the surface to see the island. Thank you. Wow, I feel rested. I feel ready. Three more months and I'll be through the woods and I'm launching my company. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a new dating app. You, you open it up and it tells you the date. Hmm. Oh, don't forget the orders. You're gonna want refunds. We should hire a financial advisor. Can we afford that? I don't know. We'll ask them. 